Hello, and welcome back to Factorio Vanilla 1.0. In our last episode, we finally got the train station set up here at the main base, and got a outpost kicking up some stone here, and we have a train running the running the rounds back and forth. Right now, it's trying to fill up the stockpile here. The um, train, I also went, I also fed some fuel in the train, if you can recall that that was a problem before. And I've come out here, cleaned up some of the miners, and rebalanced this output from the stone here, because there's only three miners left on it, to output onto, to allow it to output onto both sides. Uh, and since it's only coming on one side of the belt here, this is enough of a balancer to take care of it. So, basically at this point, all the stone is being mined is going onto the top side of this belt, which is fine. And then uh, we have just a very little bit of iron and uh, coal left here. Uh, looks like 44k coal, 18k iron, 15k stone. But we do have a lot of copper left because we haven't gotten to the point of the game yet where we consume a lot of copper. So um, the, today's tasks, as we've covered at the end of the last, was uh, setting up some co uh, concrete production, which of course that means we're going to need some iron. And I think what I will probably do... Actually, let's go up here and do this first. Uh, I'm going to do a, a simple shifter here at the end of these three belts before they turn. And I'm going to use that to um, to make sure that the, these three lines get iron ore. And then take any surplus off of them from there. Let's do boom, boom, boom. I'll, I'll put I'll prior to the left. And that'll just kind of let me have some of it here. Uh, it won't be perfect, but at least give me something. And that's all I need is something. So we're just going to come this way with it. I know I'm leaving some space in here, but I think that's okay. And I'm actually going to merge it into this line here, or with this line here. Um, because I want to take input priority from the right. Nope, that's output. Right. So that it takes this line first still. But that way we can use some of it for the steel and uh, we'll take like half of it down this way to make uh, copper out of it. Or copper. Jeez, oh Pete, Wally. Uh, concrete out of it. Yeah. With that way, I guess. Thank you, bots. Okay, so we'll have Iron coming this way, and stone bricks coming that way. Let's look at what else the uh, recipe for concrete takes. Water. We have a pipe of water coming up here too, don't we, someplace? Where did I bring that to? Oh, that's here in the base. Oh, we're real close to water, so we're fine. Never mind. We need an offshore pump, though. One of those. And let's take a look at setting this up. So let's make uh, just a single assembler at this point. Uh, that might be the right place to put it, or it might not. Making concrete. One iron ore and five stone bricks every 10 seconds. So that means, not counting the crafting time being 0.75, that we need five stone bricks every 10 seconds, which is one stone, a half a stone brick every second, which means we can support... This is going to make seven and a half, which means, so it means we can support 15 assemblers making concrete, I think, is the number. Uh, so we can do this a couple of different ways. And I think... Uh, let me think now. Which way do I want to do this? Uh, I think I'm going to do it this way. So we'll have a belt of materials coming in. A belt of materials going out. Uh, we can put these next to each other. I think I'm just going to do like maybe eight of them for now. This is actually a good place. We'll destroy that because I like destroying things. And then uh, we can do this one here like this. Copy, paste there and then we'll just run some pipes across like this actually what I will do is take the pipes out here to the end and cross them like this uh, just to make sure that we have we have good throughput and then I'll put in the same thing on this end and then we can go down I think to the water Don't suppose that the uh, bots will do that job all the way, so I'll just walk around. 
And that way it gives me time to also look for the stupid uh, offshore pump that I can never find. There it is. Okay, you're here, so we're going to zigzag a little bit, but that's okay. I'll go there like this. You can go here. Oh, two spaces. I'm zigzagging. All right, so we have water. We have input materials ready to be input. And we are good to go. So that what's going to happen is uh, this belt is going to get half of whatever goes towards steel. Uh, and then once it backs up, then 100% goes to steel. So it ends up being a win-win for steel there, kind of. But I think what I'm going to do is actually bring this straight out, take this in, and then go like this with them. And I will take this one under because this is arbitrarily more done. Arbitrarily. And then that'll go out. Uh, we're going to need, let's see, power poles first, I suppose. One there, and one there, and then one there, and one out there. Uh, middle goes out, in, in, out, and then here the opposite. Out, out, in, in. And then this is going to need a big power pole coming to it, like this. And then I will take this one here, duplicate it to there, and that should be good to go. Alright, we have concrete being made. Now this can come back to the bus, and I think I'm going to run it maybe here alongside where the um, stone bricks come in. Although maybe not, unless I happen to have, I do have. We're going to do it this anyway. That. Uh, this one I'm just going to... Nope, can't do that. Okay, and then that goes there. This goes here, and then I, of course, put myself in a bad position with the power pole, but... I need to figure out where I want this to go anyway. So we have this one's all spoken for. Uh, red circuit, red circuit, blue circuit, battery. So we need to come up to the next um, set, which we haven't really marked off here just yet, although it is here. So maybe we'll make this belt here the uh, first concrete belt. Like that-ish. So can I go, how do I want to go with this? I think I'll turn and come this way, maybe. Yeah, but I'll go across the uh, steel first. So let's go this way. There, and then I can come this way with it. Take my car with me so I don't have to leave it behind and then wonder why I left it. Oopsie. Don't do that. Oh. That's not good either, Wally. Okay, there goes my car. Take that one as far as it'll go. Maybe the car comes with me. And this isn't a full belt of concrete, I don't think, by any means. It's, um, well, eight assemblers making, well, ten would be ten concrete, or actually seven and a half concrete. So we only did eight, so we're looking at something like, um, six and a half or something, which is probably plenty for what we need. This, I don't know that this needs to actually go any further than the mall. So I'm just going to stop at the mall right now with it. Whatever that ends up needing to be, because there's a belt input here for it. We already hooked it up somewhat. That's this one. And then I have a problem. But I think I can just resolve that problem by doing something... ...like this. I should go... maybe I should go the other way with it. Hmm... Getting myself stuck. Let's see. Maybe I should come through.
Let's do it this way. Take these up. This can come across like that. That goes there. I should have stayed there. These come up. And then I can do this, this. No. Okay, this is going to have to move over. We'll do it way over here. That's fine. Spaghetti belts are us. Okay, you go here and here and there and there and there. And this is going to come in here and it's just going to uh, half belt that like that. And that's for making the nuclear stuff, which, speaking of which, we haven't done any research in a long time. Let's look at research here. Uh, we need, we're going to need these low density structures. Let's go ahead and do that one. They're needed for yellow science as well as uh, for whatever this input is that we haven't finished setting up yet. Uh, mall, mall, where else do you go in here in the mall? That spot there, and then it continues on to the end uh, just in case you wanted to add more on to the mall. Okay, here it comes now. So as you can see, it's piddling out, but that's fine because we don't expect it to be a full belt. Okay, and then uh, let's see. We also talked about solid fuel, so let's go do solid fuel. I didn't do it earlier when we built the rest of the oil area because, I don't know, reasons. And uh, so we're going to go ahead and do it now. Uh, solid fuel is also made in chemical plants, of which I have one. Where am I at logistic network-wise? Not anywhere close. Okay, we need to go get some of those. Logistics... Uh, chemical planter here. Let's do 20 to 40. Wait, I have another car? How many cars do I have in this place? That's a car. I think I put one in this box. Yeah, I put one in the box. Somehow I have three cars. I didn't even know I had three cars. What is in there? Nothing? Okay, I'm going to pick that up. Okay, here they come now. Okay, fulfilled. Excuse me. Okay, so chemical plant. Let's go down a little bit. We don't need a lot of space, though. Maybe just down here-ish to start with. Uh, so, we're going to make solid fuel out of two things. Light oil and solid fuel. Or, sorry, light oil and petroleum gas. We're not going to make it out of heavy oil. Uh, the reason being, if you look at these recipes, 20 heavy oil means one solid fuel. 10 light oil means one solid fuel. And 20 petroleum gas means one solid fuel. Uh, if we look at the recipes for cracking, 40 heavy oil plus some water and some electricity, sure, gives us 30 light oil. So 40 heavy oil is two pieces of solid fuel. 40 light oil is four. So, uh, sorry, thir 30 light oil? 30 light oil is three. So you can already see there's a gain of one piece of solid fuel. And if you wanted to do the math on the power, I suppose you could. Uh, one piece of solid fuel is 12 megajoules, which is 12 megajoules, 12, uh, which results in 12 watts of power. Well, no. I guess it doesn't. 12 megajoules. This consumes uh, 217 kilowatts when it's being used. And the crafting recipe for the cracking takes two seconds. So in two seconds, this machine's going to use just about 450 kilowatts. Less than half a megawatt. Whereas, or uh, megajoule, excuse me, and for, that's 450 kilojoules, less than a half a megajoule, and the solid fuel makes is 12. So right there you can see that there's quite a benefit from taking your heavy oil into light oil 
first before making it into solid fuel. So we're not going to make heavy oil solid fuel. Secondly, um, we, we're we also going to set up a solid fuel uh, setup for petroleum gas. And that's just in case the petroleum gas happens to be our holdup. Uh, because we can, we can crack the heavy oil if there's a surplus, which there isn't right now, uh, because we're cracking it all. We can crack the heavy oil down into light oil, and we can crack the light oil into petroleum, both of which are backed up right now, by the way. But we can't crack the petroleum into anything, can't, you know, can't convert it back into light oil or whatever. Uh, we can all just use it for making plastic and for making sulfur. So because of that, we want to set up an area that's, that's converting both of these into solid fuel just in case we happen to have this situation where they're both full or the petroleum gas gets full first. Let's go in here. I'm going to do... Hmm. I wonder if I should just go ahead and make rocket fuel while we're making solid fuel and just feed the trains the rocket fuel instead of giving them the intermediary of solid fuel. Because I should have done solid fuel when we were setting up oil and I didn't. Uh, the other option is to do... I do want to do this. Um, we can also do uranium processing. Let's just go ahead and do rocket fuel now. We'll get it set up too. Okay, so so I want to do a bunch of these cracking or making solid fuel out of light oil. This uh, produces one every two seconds. And it is one because the crafting speed is one. So that means two of these is one per second. So that means we could handle 30 of these on a yellow belt. Which is quite a lot. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and do it. Uh, so we need to have light oil coming in here. And we're going to do the pair method here. Pair them together and do the underflowy like this method. Uh, and then I want to have an output belt here. And let's do power poles too. Boom and boom. Actually, we take the power pole out one more space. And then I want to flip this around here on the other side so that we can fill up the full belt. Excuse me, sorry. And then we need output inserters um, here and here. And they probably don't need to be blue inserters because we're only producing one every two seconds. But I just use the blue inserters. Okay, so, and then the other thing we're going to need to do is, is also set up the light oil uh cracking but we can get these going so at uh, one every two seconds that's a half of one per second which means 30 of these machines which I did so I didn't get enough but that's okay we will uh, let them finish thank you before I put down any more that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten that's 20 so let's take another actually I will just do 28 and we're out of chemical plants now, but that's fine. Uh, I should have gotten more. We'll go get some in a little bit. And then here at the end, I want to take another copy of this. But instead, I want to make these separate. Because I want to make these the machines that make it out of the petroleum gas. And in order to do that, then we need to have a pipe here. And underground pipe here. going out here someplace and there maybe and I can copy that whole thing and duplicate it down on the other one like that and then I'm going to run back to the mall and get some more uh, chemical plants and whatever else the bots bring me Oh, there's a pipe there. Watch out for stuff, Lolly. Oh, we finished rocket fuel. Let's go ahead and do yellow science, I think. Because that's the next science we're going to set up, although we might have to do some more resource expansion before we do that. Oh, another thing I learned about that I can show you while they're doing this. In the settings interface, there's this flat character GUI option. And that 
separates the crafting tab from the other two tabs here so that you don't have to keep toggling back and forth between especially logistics and crafting at this stage of the game. And so I'm going to give this a try and see how that works. Oh, there they are. I was like, wait, why aren't they bringing any stuff? Here comes the pipes. I don't know why they're being slow. Uh, I might actually need to add some more logistics bots to the network. Yeah, we only have a hundred. So that could be why. Okay, let's get out of here. I should add some more. Maybe go up to like 500 or something. We can do that. Oh, actually, I'll show you a trick on how to do that when you're not there. Uh, we have, well, maybe. We have, let's see, uh, logistics bots are here. We're using an inserter to control it. If you copy that inserter from map mode, put it down here next to you. Nope, I lied. What I need to do instead is not copy just the inserter, but also copy the thing it's wired to. Like that. And then paste that down. And then I can edit this inserter. Wait, why is it not? Because I don't have a RoboPort? Just to be sure. Yeah, I guess I can't because I don't have a robot on me. Okay, well, never mind. I'll do that later. Okay, so we have all this stuff coming in. They built the rest of it. I may put four more of those down just to be safe. Oh, I need to also fix the recipe on those. Come back over here. Fix the recipe. No, that's not what I wanted. That's cracking. Let's do that one. And yeah, we'll do four more just to be... Safe. I want to also. I want to grab this area though because it's got the complete set of pipes, and then I'll just copy the recipe to repair it, or to whatever, reassign it. Okay, so let's go back here now. Let the bots chase me down. This needs to be connected. Just do that one. I didn't put any lights in here, of course. We're gonna need pipes out here for the light oil. Uh, what I think I'm going to do, though, is something slightly different. I'm going to bring in the light oil. Let me see. Yeah, let's take this one back a couple spaces. And then we'll come down here. To there. And I can take this one up to... There. Connect these together. And then put pumps in. Too close. Can I move this back more? Yeah, I can. Take this out. Move it back there. Take this out. Move it back there. Connected. Connected. Good. Okay, pump. Uh, so this pump will be for the light oil. And this pump will be for the petroleum gas. And I'm putting them separate like this. So that I don't have to worry about some of this craziness with the pipes. Uh, utility science finished. Um, I'm going to get Breaking Force. Um, breaking Force is not really necessary, but it helps your trains, as it, as you see, uh, to... Um, they can see at higher speeds longer because they can break better at the end. So it kind of speeds up your, your train travel a little bit. It's not a... Uh, let's see. This needs to go here, and then I need something in the middle. Let's go right there with it. Oh, good. You're putting stuff down. Thank you, bots. Uh, we also need to wire this in. So we'll go here to here to there. And can I go from here to here? Or is that too far? It is not too far. Excellent. Okay, so this is going to be enabled. We're also using light oil. We're using, excuse me, we're using light oil here for cracking. This is set at 20k. So whenever there's more than 20k, I want to crack that down. For this, I want to crack... Actually, I'm going to kick that up to 24k. 24k. For this one, I want to crack this at 20k. The idea is we have a little bit of buffer of light oil, but we... Uh, We deal with it 
when we get it kind of thing. This needs to go there. And then you go there to there. And then this one, I can steal a copy of this. These run at one uh, greater than 1K. I don't want that to happen. I want this to only work when this is greater than 24K. I only want solid fuel being made from light oil when we have a completely full tank of it. Uh, and then that'll make a, a large amount of solid fuel now. And actually, so this is actually going to make more than one belt. We have 36 machines here. Uh, but the idea is that we were making almost a whole belt out of uh, light oil and then kind of supplementing it when we need to with it made from um, petroleum gas. And since the petroleum gas is here on the end of the belt, it gets used first. Or it gets, it gets, it's able to put onto the belt first, so the pieces of solid fuel will just keep on going right back, right, right on past the, um, the assemblers, or th these ones, and these ones won't work then, these chemical plants. Okay, so let's go this way with it. Let's get the car. I'm just going to bring it along this belt, and I want to pick out... Uh, oh, we need to keep going. Keep going. Actually, what I will do is just... Let that go. Uh, let's keep going down here. You're in the way, power pole. Okay, and then... Keep going here. And where this is... Uh, this is... Make this one be the, the concrete. We'll make this be the low density structures for them all. And so this will be solid fuel coming through here. Go there with that one or no, no. We'll go here like that. Okay, this is gonna have to go this way, this way. I don't think I'm going to need to take this that way any, but if I do, I'll be okay to do it. And then that goes there. Okay, so now we have solid fuel. And we're going to just belt this along the bus and take it to the train station. Ah, but you know what I forgot to do? That's fine. Well, I'll take this up. I've got to take solid fuel to the other train station. We need to actually split this before we put it onto this belt and take it north, too. Before we leave that area, I want to come back up here and do that. Okay, split. Uh, the trains are here in descent. Good. Like I planned it or something. And it didn't. This goes here. And then it can continue along this way and then I'll go this way with it and not that far not anywhere near that far let's go up here and find the spot where we need to load this into the train so the way I like to do this is to just um, do two inserters put a box in between I limit it to one space because that's all you're really gonna need and then this needs to come down here um, if we had more uh, stations up here, I would go underground here, but we don't, so um, I'm going to come this way, though, and copy this same thing for here, and then go under, and I can't go under with the, with the yellows, right, I need to do th the reds, and we'll just do it like that. Uh, you're going to go here, then, and then there to give me power. Not that I need this one to have any, but I'm going to go ahead and stage it out because I might park like my train there or something. And I'm not going to bother building the rest of this just yet. Uh, go ahead and dump that out. The rest of these stations, I mean, or the rest of the unloading for the stations, this will be fine. Okay, so we have Bellevue coming. Hopefully you have enough coal 
Oh, you have plenty of coal. Actually, let me take out that. All right. I think I left the card. No, it left it right there. Okay, now we need to just take that cell fuel down to the other station. Out of the way, trees. And where do I want to poke this one through at? The other thing we could do is stop using coal for fueling these and instead use solid fuel for it. I think I'll bring it through. I think I'll do this to make another space here. And I can bring it through like this and alongside there. You can go and I will walk because it's a little easier sometimes than fiddling with the car. Here. And we're just going to keep going straight on through. I don't know how far I shot the car, but... Oh, it's not too far. I don't want you stopping there. Okay, and then, let's see. This I will need to take uh, down, I think, is the better solution. Here? Not there. Here? Because this train station is going to expand northward. Not southward. And then I'll bring it in here, but I need to get the alignment right on this first. So same kind of thing. Uh, we can go right there. We'll have to put in a power pole on this side. And then uh, put a belt in here. Uh, nope, right underground. Boom, boom. And then this can just come along here, hopefully. Yes, yellow belt. I was very, being very, very uh, cavalier about walking across those tracks. Fortunately, that train is sitting there, relaxing, waiting for me. Going to copy this. Uh, I think I might need that belt as well, but I'm going to shift it and take out the tracks. I can also right-click that. Keep everything else, though. And I need one more belt. Okay, we'll do this again, then. And we need the power pole as well. Let's put that here. Take this, like this. Take out the tracks. Um, that's fine. And I come up here. I can use the power poles to align with. Look at me. And I'm just going to go ahead and put all these down, because I know they're here. I know they're needed, and I'll even put this one down fully instead of taking out the underground because I think we're going to need more stations up here anyway eventually. Maybe. Yeah, I think we plan for another sum for iron. Or talked about another sum. So this should hopefully stop at 50. I didn't check. Yeah, okay. Good. These are going to fill up, and then we'll fill up the train with the requisite fuel as well. Wait a minute. Okay, good. I'll let them burn through that coal first, but that's okay. And then, uh, let's see. We have st stocked up on the on the copper, or on the, the uh, concrete. We have solid fuel going. We've done a few researches. The other thing that I want to talk about, or distingu distinguish here a little bit, is um, we're not going to actually build these now, but 
the difference between rockets and cannon shells. Uh, I think in the last episode I was saying rockets for the tank. And the tank actually does not take rockets. I don't think. The tank takes cannon shells. Cannon shells, machine gun bullets, and flamethrower uh, fuel tanks. So we need to make explosive cannon shells, not explosive rockets for this. And I think we can actually just go ahead and make them maybe in the same area where we're making our other explosive stuff. Although we'll have to bring plastic in. But that's something that we can take take a look at in a later episode. Or maybe in a sooner episode because we're now getting chewed on out here. Uh, I need to borrow this train. I know, I'm coming. This is why you should put turrets down at your outposts. Just in case. Because they, especially with expansion turned on, oh boy, yeah. I'm coming. Uh, let's see, what other research do I want to do? Exos, maybe... Yeah, I guess I couldn't hurt. We could also do nuclear power research. I'm coming. <coughs> I just ran under my train. Oh dear. <laughs> okay. Oh, that was dumb. That was really dumb, Wally. Okay, good thing we spawn up here. We can grab that car. I need to move that chest down here too, by the way. Save myself the walk. Car and the fuel. Car goes down. Fuel goes in. Although now I could put some solid fuel in there instead. Dang it. Okay. Can't blame anyone else but me. My first train death of this series. Although it's following up on the how many biter deaths. Cut through this little gap in the forest here. Um, I don't have any bullets, so I need to stop and pick up my body, which I should do anyway. And that one is really chewing. Fortunately... There we go. Fortunately, we had a lot of stuff. Oopsie. Um, inventory's full. Well. Alright, you can just hang out. I will put down some turrets and then you'll be able to fit. Let's see, we'll start over here. Do the kind of previous plan. Is that halfway? No. I want to do it this way, I think. And then we'll just put in some ammo. And now we'll, that thing will shut up for a minute. I didn't, of course, bring any of my other ammo with me, but I do have that ammo. So that'll help. Let's do this. And then some out here. And I'm not going to be able to leave 100 ammo in these. I'll do 25. Well. Wait, why are the... Oh, that's why. There we go. Now we have space. Uh, nope. 25. 25. 25, 25, do this again, 25, and up here you needed also 25. Okay, I forgot that when you die this switches off automatically so that your bots don't come and fill you up when you respawn in your base before you have the ability to, uh, Something before you have the ability to get to your body and pick up all the stuff that you left behind. 
All right, so I need to get back to the uh, to the, where the starter base was, so that I can put this car back in there, a car back in there, along with the fuel, of course. And but then uh, in the next episode, I think I think we might start building. You know what? Actually, before we start building Yellow Science, I want to do a solar episode. So that might be the next episode is is figuring out a solar train and running the solar. Uh, we have a car here, I think. Running the solar out to the... Oh, put the solar fuel in there instead this time. Uh, we're building a solar field out in, out somewhere outside of the base. Uh, I think up here might be our best bet, maybe. Starting over here. And so I will do like a self-building to some extent, at least at this point. Uh, solar, uh, solar station. And that'll be a, f a fun thing to do. And then I can just let it keep building itself by putting down blueprints. And then after that, uh, we'll start working on science again, I think, probably. So thank you all for joining me, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.